job for the day. We're gonna go and help Marty get ready for the day. Okay, it's 10.42 and I am back from working. But now I have to start in on this. But first, breakfast. All right, here we are, cooking breakfast. We're gonna have some bacon and some farm fresh eggs. This is bacon from a mango leaf sub cake that we had processed for us. It was bought from a local farmer. So there's the bacon. So Ronnie wants scrambled eggs. And I'm going to put in a little bit of bacon grease. Oh. One and a half tablespoons. Never, ever, ever throw away bacon grease because you can use it to cook so many things. All right, took some of the bacon out because it was getting done, done, done. I'm gonna crack a brown egg. Interesting fact about eggs, so the inside of the brown egg shell is white, like pure white. The inside of a white eggshell is white, just like the brown one. So this one's green, and the inside of the green eggshell is blue. Super dark orange yolk. We're going to make beautiful scrambled eggs. Put this back on the heat. And I'm going to take this piece of bacon out. These two are still not quite done to the desired consistency. Almost though. In goes those orange eggs. Andy, I'm going to set this down on the floor because the dogs like the leftover egg. And then we're just going to fold these and not let them get brown on the bottom. This is a cast iron skillet, and you'll notice that everything is just lifting right off, even with a fork. Doesn't even need a spatula. eggs. We'll put them on his plate. Alright, we don't even have to wash this pan. All we have to do is put just a little bit more bacon grease in it. green color and a dark brown. 
Anybody want to guess what color the shell will be on the inside? Leave it in the comments below what you think. Here goes an avocado green egg. Which is blue on the inside. And a reddish brown egg, which is white on the inside. And another avocado green one. These eggs are smaller because they're from young hens. shells on a plate for a couple of days and then um, we bake them for use in projects. Be right back. Alright, I get kind of spoiled. I used to put black pepper on my eggs and I liked it okay. But this summer we grew peppers that I turned into cayenne pepper flakes. And now I've got this mix of red and green pepper flakes in this. I put some of that on with just a little bit of salt. And now that's what I like about my eggs. I made it with black pepper the other day and I didn't even really like it. slide around even though we scrambled eggs in this pan before. Remember that? So you don't need that poisonous Teflon. And over go those eggs. All right, we'll plate that up in a couple minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to get a pot holder. It's in the pot. And we are going to put the bacon grease into this jar. Why should we buy stuff, spend money on things, when we can use something else that would just be wasted? And we have to try to figure out where we're going to put it, because we don't want it in our septic tank. Ronnie is, he should be out here eating his eggs. We don't have any vegetables with our breakfast this morning, which is a little strange. But, we didn't think ahead to have something ready. Okay, I lied just a little bit. I did find us a fruit slash vegetable thing. We had these night before last with sweet potatoes, apples, this is apple, and uh, red peppers with a cinnamon honey glaze on them. They were delicious. They'll be good to go with our breakfast.
have left here now is the workbench. The bins that we put the chicken feed in. And then this one gets the shavings for the nest boxes. We cleaned out that corner too. This is a thorn in my side. It belonged to a neighbor like 15 years ago. Can you hold on to it for a little bit for me? I'll be back. Now again. we're headed out to get rid of all this metal. Ronnie's driving. I'm riding. <coughs> well, here we are with the recycling place for the metal.